We've given you a look at billionaire lifestyles all over the world. Now, it's time to see how the richest in Lebanon spent their cash. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at what it's like to be a billionaire in Lebanon. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. Najib Mikati Starting off at the top, we've got Lebanon's richest man, Najib Mikati. He's worth a substantial $2.1 billion. And if you're concerned that he's one of those billionaires who do nothing but work, you don't need to be. Don't worry, he can spend money with the best of them. Look no further than his lavish private residence in the capital of Lebanon, Tripoli. It is a colossal, classically styled mansion located on the seaside. Unfortunately, he is the richest guy and has served as prime minister three times. The security is far more rigorous than in most homes. I can tell though that he's the type of man who has an abundance of leather furniture, libraries filled with impressive looking literature he probably doesn't even read, and fireplaces where he can contemplate while swirling a brandy and smoking a cigar. The neighborhood is renowned for its luxurious homes and mansions comparable to this one. While we do not know the actual price he paid for this, we can make a very accurate estimate. A home of comparable elegance and sophistication costs nearly $2.3 million. Therefore, his residence is likely considerably more expensive. I estimate at least 3 million. His yacht is the crown jewel of his money. This magnificent 259-foot vessel is suited for the richest guy in your country. This is supported by the cost of the infant. This beauty would be valued at more than $100 million. The annual operating expenses exceed $10 million, which requires a substantial fortune to justify. The interior is as elegant as the outside with exposed wood, grand living areas, and comfortable luxury bedrooms, making this the ultimate waterside retreat. In addition, there are amenities such as a beach club, fitness center, massage room bar, jacuzzi elevator, a second jacuzzi, and a helicopter landing pad. It can accommodate 12 passengers and 16 crew members. Clearly, he owns a private jet. He used an astronomically expensive Falcon 8X. These luxurious vehicles have a staggering price tag of $58 million. The annual operating costs are equivalent to his yacht, adding an additional $1.4 million to his bills. Taha Makati Taha Makati is the second richest individual in Lebanon. His wealth is equivalent to that of his brothers, with a net worth of $2 billion. In addition, they share similar likes in boats and private aircraft. His yacht is larger, more daring, and more expensive than those of his brothers. The enormous value of the Choppy Choppy is a whopping $125 million. In addition, the annual operating expenses of the giant exceed $12 million. It's over 262 feet long, weighing over 2,400 tons, and can accommodate 12 guests and 33 crew members. It also has identical amenities, such as the beach club, fitness center, massage room, elevator bar, and not one, but two jacuzzis. This yacht is filled with the same type of stately furniture as the Mentees yacht, which is consistent with the Mentees concept of exposed wood. Therefore, I would argue that his yacht game is unquestionably superior to that of his younger brothers, albeit it is close to what is listed as the owner of not one, but two private aircraft. Similar to his brother, he has a $58 million Falcon 8X jet. He also owns a Falcon 2000, which costs approximately $7 million. It is a very comparable vehicle with a business chic interior a fashionable exterior, and a very smooth ride. It possesses the same maximum speed of 547 miles per hour. This simply appears to be the better deal. Well, we're aware that he, like his brother, possesses a mansion worth millions of dollars, but the one trait they share is an obsession with solitude. Despite the absence of the house, it appears that Taha outspends his sibling when it comes to spending money. In addition, others estimate that his fortune is closer to $3 billion, which would make him the richest man in Lebanon. Clearly, the sibling rivalry here must be intense. It appears that they may function together better than you believe. It appears that Taha is mostly responsible for the family's extraordinary wealth. He was the one who initially established ACC. The Hariri Family The Hariri family is the other influential economic and political family in the region. In any case, Baha Hariri is currently the top dog. Currently, he stands third after the super wealthy Makati brothers with a $2.1 billion fortune. Regarding his residence, he has a vast mansion in Switzerland when one of the area's finest neighborhoods. Homes in this neighborhood can sell for astronomical sums of money, upwards of $20 million. His brother, Sa'ad Hariri, has a similar level of accomplishment with a net worth of approximately $1.3 billion. 
He served as Lebanon's Prime Minister from 2009 to 2011 and from 2016 to 2020. He resides in a mansion that is shockingly traditional in appearance and does not at all resemble a billionaire's estate. In all honesty, this one may only be a few hundred down. His most recognized buy was a $16 million present to a bikini model from South Africa. He apparently had an affair with the woman he met at the luxurious resort that he paid for. According to the story, they cost upwards of $3,000 every night, so this was a significant expense. Another youngest kid, Fahad Hariri, is wealthy at $1.2 billion due partly to inheritance and successful real estate investments. His success is not solely attributable to large real estate transactions. Rather, it stems mostly from his immense passion for interior design. He was Alberto Pinto's protege, the famed interior designer. When his mentor died, he essentially continued where he left off. He's widely recognized as one of the world's top interior designers. When he discusses his business, he discusses locating rare carpets at flea markets and acquiring discounted works of art. His excellent eye and genuine passion for interior design appear to be the ideal combination of his family's real estate holdings and his mentor's career. This is demonstrated by the property he inherited from Alberto. The Pinto House in Paris is a sprawling mansion that Fahad has transformed into his pet project. Each and every space is an interior design masterpiece. The residence has dozens of statues, paintings, chandeliers, libraries, and wonderful color palettes. This company's owned and designed properties can fetch upwards of $22 million. Something tells me that $22 million will be on the low side by the time he completes it. Additionally, he is renowned for designing the interiors of private jets and yachts. More of his familial background has proven useful. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned!